These two, of course, need no introduction, but we'll do it anyway. John Granada and Joe Zito. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Southern New England. How are you guys? I haven't seen you in a couple weeks. I was on vacation, and you were here, but you weren't here. Uh, yeah, you know, Chef was Andrea was here two yeah, weeks ago right. with me, and she and her husband James had a beautiful baby boy. Wow, seven eight, which is seven eight, which is very tall for a baby. Seven but besides eight, that, yeah, Jackson that James, and we're going to have tall. a photo coming up in the next nice. segment. It's fantastic. That's great, great yeah, news. Yeah. Uh, so, what's this? Lobster mashed potatoes. This Ooh. doesn't sound very Italian. Well, it's not very Italian, but you know, like you know, when you're on your big sprawling deck and you're making steaks on your grill. On mine? Yeah. You're talking about the, the manse that uh, Joe lives in? Yeah, absolutely. Well. And by the way, you can make it Italian. It's called Aragasta di Mashed Potatoes. Okay? <laughs> yeah, sure. sure. Now it's Italian. What he said. <laughs> well, you're always looking for some kind of side dish to impress your guests. Right, so you get these beautiful steaks on the grill. Why don't we do a little mashed potatoes with lobster in them? Oh. Right? We're gonna put <laughs> that was Joe. <laughs> You okay over there? That is you don't know CPR, pass. John? Take it easy. Wow. <laughs> Thank goodness. Where's the defibrillator? Look at these uh, nice ingredients. So basically, you're going to make some, some, some nice creamy mashed potatoes with a little lobster, scallion, and we're just going to put a little hint of vanilla in it. Wow. And believe it or not, vanilla, lobster, and butter go together like a symphony. Beautiful. So nice, nice. All right. Well, looking looking forward to seeing the picture in our next segment. It'll be looking up. forward to you talking about your wine. Don't do it now. I'm getting a hard wrap here. Hang on. Hold on to your bottle of wine over there, Joe. I know it's tough for you. Down Boy. You can find the recipe online at foxprovidence.com. More from the kitchen in a bit. Back to you. We're trying to spell Joe as our, wow. cheer, and our cheerleading. Thing. Very nice, very nice. The chef very upset about this the buzz topic. I'm not going to get into the politics okay. of it. But so you think no, it's a get sport. Into this. He thinks it's a sport because his daughter was a uh, high, it's highly competitive sport. cheerleader. So is cooking. So is cooking. It can be competitive cooking. Okay, what do we got? Uh, the side. Di we're, I, you know, right. I mean, it's, it, we're going the lobster right. mashed potatoes. It's summertime. Yeah. You're putting steaks on the grill or, or anything, and you're looking to impress your guests, and you want to do something special. We're going to do some nice lobster mashed potatoes. Basically, what we used to do is we start with Yukon Gold Potatoes, okay, because they have a nice uh, yellowish color to them, which gives you the sense of buttery texture. We're going to add a lot of butter to it, probably about six to eight tablespoons of butter. Two two-pound lobsters. We're going to cook them. We're going to shell them, and we're going to we're going to cool them down, and then we're going to chop them up. Some scallions, salt and pepper, heavy cream. Yeah. And then what we're going to do for a little uh, different is we're going to do some vanilla bean. Okay. And what kind of what kind Zito? What kind of wine do you drink with this? Oh, with, with this wine we've got a gorgeous Suave. This is this is a wonderful summer wine, and I'm going to talk a little more about it in the third segment because I want people to know this is a summer value of the year, and I want them to know where they can get it. All right. For all and, of our wonderful and the picture, real quick. Oh, of course, Jackson James NATO. This is Chef Andrea's baby. Seven pounds eight ounces. We're just very Aww. very Welcome happy that, that this little guy's around, and who knows, he'll be on the road show someday. He is right now. There he is. There he is. All right. You can find the recipe online for the lobster mashed potatoes at foxprovidence.com. More from the kitchen in a bit, but for now, back to you. Thank you. This morning on the Roadshow in the Kitchen, we could have here what is the mother of all comfort foods. I love a lobster mac and cheese, and we've had it before, and it's really good. But this is something that, I mean, who doesn't love mashed potatoes? And now you guys are kind of heightening that experience with putting lobster meat in it. That's right. And this is great. The marriage of lobster, vanilla, and butter. Vanilla. Absolutely Now it perfect. is what brings us together today. Yes. Who the tunk it? The marriage is like Ben Haig, Patrick Little, and yourself. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, really? What a a delicate balance of humor and love. Uh, you want to chop that up? I do. I don't know how to chop lobster, so I'll just do go. this. Okay. And then Does I'll, that work? Yeah, I, yeah, I look well, like the it's Swedish good. chef. On the heels of a couple of glasses of wine at 8 o'clock <laughs> right. in the morning. Right. Maybe I should, after three beers and a glass of Prosecco, maybe I shouldn't be handling you know, the shirt. Back in objects. the day, the TV maitre d' was the only guy who had wine oh, no. at 8 o'clock in the morning. Things are changing <laughs> around here. Is this how you, what do I do? Just like yeah. chunk sure, it up like this? Sure, just little pieces, little bite-sized pieces. Bite size for me would be like this. There you go. Just or throw like it in one there. of these. All right. So we got to move this along, but this is phenomenal. Right. And of course, we talked about before. You put a nice steak on the grill with this as a compliment. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's something that it's just a little out of the norm. It's it's very easy to do. It's great to have if you have like um, some friends over and you want to have a dish that's you know relatively easy, but but still fancy. Well, it's, it's an well, interesting talk about it. What's that? They'll it's, talk about. Oh yeah, it. they're going they're going back to their neighborhoods and they're. They're chat chatting up what they've had. Oh, absolutely. Uh, now tell okay, me. Okay, now throw the butter in. Okay, the butter. Let's put the let's the lobster in. I don't yeah, want to miss that, that on the. Now, right, right. now, how much butter? All of it. All That's of about it. Okay. six to eight tablespoons okay. of butter. And this is a large size, size portion with a lot of. Yeah, this um, is yeah, an indulgence. So friends, throw half that amount of scallion. Half. In. Okay. I assume we're going to use a little for garnish, right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? About 
half a cup of heavy cream okay. to a cup. And now where does the van vanilla bean come in? Well, we're going to put that in last and okay. show you. A little bit of salt. Salt. And pepper. This is very easy. Do you like a coarsely ground salt for this? I always like kosher salt. Me too. Yeah. Stuff. And what you want to do with the vanilla bean is you want to split it down the middle. Okay. Where do you get vanilla bean? Because a lot of them different recipes. You get them recipes. in almost every market now. Now you see the way that oozes out of the yeah. middle? You want to take it and scrape it right out. Oh, that comes out really easily. Yeah. And you know what's funny is when you think about vanilla bean, you think uh, about something that is maybe sweet, but really it no. doesn't It doesn't have a sweetness su to it. It's right. just the sweet will come from the sugar you add to it. Oh, man. All right, and here we go with this. And I'm telling you, th this, this is heavenly. Now, what do you pair with something like this? Well, here's a, here's a, and wine wise, here's a wine that I particularly love. And my friend Mark Gasparro told me that this is the wine of the summer in his store ah. where they have thousands to choose from. Yes. $14 bottle of wine. It's Pierrepon Suave, Suave, which is from the Veneto region, which is in northeast Italy. This is food friendly. It's got a little bit of gumption to it, but by the same same way, it's still light. Gumption. Uh, light I was just going to say, body. I love a wine with well, good gumption. Well, you know what? Pinot Grigios, they're very refreshing, but they fly down, and you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Suave's been around for a long, long time, and, and it's just a beautiful region of Italy where they have it. And this is a $14 bottle of wine, which you can find at my friend Mark Gasparro's on Federal Hill. And he, he just rates it one of the top summer wines in the store. I love that. So I, I think it's that. wonderful. And um, just absolutely sensational. Now, I have to say, I'm already seeing the end result here. You can, you're can you getting a nice, uh, tight shot of it right now. I, I could dive into that. Put a couple of alcohols in it. I don't think that'll work, though. <laughs> Sometimes I do. It gives it a minty flavor. Oh, that's nice. Well, well, that's, that's, you know, that's you. discretionary. We'll leave it to the professional and to decide. And we have this what... for you. Oh, thank and you. And, Lil, I do want to remind everybody that yeah. this Sunday morning, as most of the viewers know, TV Maitre D' is premiering a spectacular Second yeah, summer I'm edition. About that. Tell Al me about fresco it. all over the place. Mm -hmm. Our friend Chef Jamie de Oliveira is cooking with me. Oh great. Yeah, I have a profile of Chef, of Chef Salvatore Chefaiello at Venda where Al Fresco out on the plaza. I love that. The little inn is featured. Luciano Canova has a new trattoria opening in Wakefield, Trattoria Romana South, and just a variety of wonderful restaurants. And you know, Sunday morning for seven years now, people know where to go. They do, and you know what I love about it is um, I love dining al fresco as long as the season permits. So there you go. it's gonna be a nice weekend to do that. Oh man, thank you for playing this up is, for me. Is this good or what? Huh? This is, let me see. Oh my gosh, so delicious. So you get a little yeah, hint of the vanilla in the end? You do. Do you, do. Have, do you yeah. have anything for anybody else here? Or well, well, that's I know. quite for you. <laughs> we'll pass a little bit out. Hey guys, thanks so much for being here this morning. Well, it's always a pleasure. Oh, oh my gosh, no, the pleasure is all mine, trust me. <laughs> uh, I want to throw it over to Michelle though because.